Girls, Girls, Girls is, you know, it's one of my theme songs. It's like the theme song of my life. So I <laughs> absolutely love it. Can you Thank take you. us through going through that? And you have Jay-Z, you have Biz, Slick Rick, and Q-Tip. So right. why did you pick those features and why is it so important to have an amazing rap voice? So that was actually uh, one of the first records recorded for the Blueprint. Mm. And, um, you know, we had been talking about, we kind of, the Blueprint sound kind of really started to take place on Bean's second album, On The Reason. You know, the Blueprint is kind of like the culmination of what we were starting to figure out on The Dynasty and On The Reason. You know, Hop would tell you himself, uh, hip hop, you know, A&R mm -hmm. at the time, Ghostface was his favorite rapper. Mm -hmm. So we were all definitely influenced by Supreme Clientele specifically. Mm -hmm. Your record with Ghostface is amazing. Thank well. you. I had actually, when we were in that chamber, I had actually made Girls, Girls, Girls for Ghosts. What? About I a, could hear that. Right. I could hear it. About a year and a half before the blueprint was ever a thought, that beat was already done. We had, like I said, we had already been moving in that soulful lane. My intention was always to give that beat to Ghosts. Mm -hmm. And then um, Jay come, you know, that fateful day that Jay came in with the CD from Ye, like, Yo, I'm about to start rapping. Like he wasn't scheduled to rap for like another. Like he would give us a timeline. Like y'all be back in May, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't remember what the date was, but I remember him walking in one day. Like yo, I just got this CD from Yay. Let's go. You know. So I'm like, what? What are we doing? He's like, we back to the soul music. So the first thing I think of is that Ghost beat. beat. And I don't have at that time. I don't you know. Ghost is Ghost is my brother now. At the time, I didn't have a link to Ghost. I didn't know him like mm -hmm. that. So there was, listen, I can hold out and pray that I get to meet Ghost one day, mm -hmm. or Jay's, this is the chamber that Jay's in right now, boom. Yeah. So gave him the record, and what he would do is he would just come back and keep adding on more and more. Like, he would do, like, a half a verse, move on to something else, come back to another half a verse. And I want to say, we started on a Friday. By Sunday, that those core songs were all done. So, like, most of my stuff most of Ye's stuff was done between Friday and Sunday. You're saying the Blueprint album was mostly recorded over a weekend? Wow. Yeah, Friday to Sunday. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. So, so you look at I just like, didn't make sure that's what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like things were tweaked here and there, mm -hmm. but my records, the my records and the Ye records were done in that first weekend. Wow. Then, you know, Trackmasters, Tim, Bink, everybody else, we they came in like right after that weekend. But you and Ye are really the heart of that record. And that, yeah, that doesn't yeah, yeah. take away from anybody else. No, it doesn't take away from anybody else, yeah. no. So back to your question about, you know, about the features. Um, because of the feel of the record, we wanted it to be familiar voices mm -hmm. that even at that time were kind of like old school voices. To like tip, They were all sitting around making records, but they were records, but they were voices that had been on records for years. And we definitely wanted some familiarity. and We wanted it to feel like hip hop. Because if you remember, we were just coming out of that keyboard beat phase, you know, the, the Triton and the Trinity mm -hmm. and the 2080 and whatnot. So it was definitely a clear, uh, it was definitely a clear ode to a different or conscious ode to a different time and a different sound. Like we knew what we were about to do as that album started to take, started to take shape. Mm -hmm. We knew that we were about to change things sonically. Yeah. So it was really a, like that was, it wasn't no, it wasn't a coincidence that we got those three artists. What we don't start it. Look at what we don't start it. This the people party. When opportunity knock it, then young nigga move that door. Get your foot stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow won't win. What's the world with